hello good morning good morning for another vlog on our channel i hope you have watched our other vlogs that we have done uh, from the airport to the puja porikrama and then we covered central kolkata we had a separate vlog on kumatuli how they make durga idols and then last one we covered the west kolkata where we covered about four or five pujas in behala region and taliganj welcome to our channel once again in today's vlog we plan to cover some of the interesting pujas in south kolkata and so this vlog will be very fascinating because it and the decorations and the artworks are one of the unique ones so let's enjoy pujas in south kolkata on this vlog this morning in south kolkata our first stop at the borals panchadurga puja it's quite hot now it's already very hot it's about 10:30 11 so let's enjoy this panchadurga uniquely pause this durga is quite different from what you have seen so far in this puja we have five different forms of durga so we have five different uh, idols of the same durga goddess so let's go through one by one the first one is devi vaishnavi This is Devi Vaishnavi, the blue one. And then the next one is written Devi Naroshinghi. Devi Naroshinghi. And then we have the main Durga, the Durga Pratima that we worship in each and every Durga Puja Mandap. Next one is Devi Dokhina Kali. This one is Dokhina Kali, and the final one is Devi Mahashuri. This one is Devi Mahashuri. So here we go. We have five different Durga Pratimas in one place. And they have a very big canopy. It's a transparent one, and it's quite modern-looking structure. This is an extraordinary puja mandap. The most important thing here is the Devi Durga's idol. As I have explained, we have five different Durga pratima in one place, five different forms. From Poncho Durga, we are now going next to Novo Durga. It's just across the road, but look at the road condition, and uh, it's so crowded and it's chaotic. But after that. we are really enjoying all these mandops and durga pratimas it's an extraordinary artwork this is the puja of nabo durga and look at the structure it's just beautiful it's huge and it's very well painted painted with a lot of characters from mythology in hinduism like i can see one character is shiva durga's husband At the moment it is scorching hot. It's like midday and it's, everything is burning. I'm feeling a burning sensation. We have got high humidity as well, so it's sweating. So by the way, I want to show you this t-shirt that I bought yesterday. If you have watched our vlog in West Kolkata Pujas, if you have seen the video until the end, you must have seen that we bought a t-shirt from one of the hawkers uh, store at the puja of Shiv Mandir and this is a very traditional painting. and they have hand painted it's on this t-shirt so this is a very good looking t-shirt and this t-shirt looks stunning the sound that's in my background the sound is from a thak a special kind of drum and so this is a tradition very iconic sound of durga puja when durga puja arrives or coming close this drum people we play this drum and this is the sound of durga puja
Now we are at Naktala Udayan Shanghu and that's our third puja of the South Calcutta tour. Let's join us and continue watching these extraordinary puja mandoks and enjoy. Look at the puja mandop in my background at Naktala Udayan Shanghu. I was reading some of the description about the theme as far as I can understand that these are like construction like house construction of the refugees who came after partition to this side of in border after Indian independence partition this side of the border they came without anything they didn't have any house they, they built their house their home with anything they could find and that's actually the history behind this region, this particular locality and the Puja Mandap is respecting that, reminding us how they developed this locality, forming houses, building houses from any materials possible. So the Puja Mandap is built with any material possible, anything that you can find, so they use that to form this artwork. Look at this map. This is actually a very old time map of this area. The government used to give a katha and you need to measure some piece of land and they used to give this piece of land to these refugees so that they can stay there and they can build their house any way possible. And uh, that's the way this Naktala region developed with hard work by these all refugees. And the Puja Mandap is based on that theme. And now let's walk through the Puja Mandap. I think it will be fascinating. It's just so unique. Look at these structures. They constructed this with like welded uh, pipes, but obviously that could have been the original story as well. Constructed house using building materials is expensive. So those refugees, I think they used completely different materials, anything they could find. See, these are the addresses of those houses. Look at the Durga Pratima, it's so different, so unique. And the priesthood performing Durga Puja. Look at the ceiling of this Puja Mandap. They use the original ceiling kind of material like the asbestos and pieces of teens. Anything you could find, you put it on the roof. And that's exactly how these refugees' houses were built. And today's Puja Mondop is just replicating those ideas so many years ago. Look at this black and white photo, they have repainted or maybe they have just enlarged and printed it on these boards and this is a very old photo, I think one of the refugee families, one of them, one of the many who built, who lived here, who came here and developed these houses or built their own houses from any material possible. This is the image they used to decorate this Durga pandal. So you can imagine how unique this festival is. We are noticing the Durga Pratima, but where is Loki and Saraswati and Ganesh and Kartik? Look at the background. They are almost like miniatures, but these are her children sitting behind. We thought we were never going to join the queue and the crowd but there is a big famous puja called Bushpukur in South Kolkata. So it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon and it's not too heavy on the crowd. So we thought we'll take our chance to look at this like old time. Let's see what happens. This is the temporary pathway to the Mondo. So they have used bamboo to create this pathway and you have to follow this path and you can see that the crowd is following this path and on the right hand side we have this busy road. This is the temporary pathway to the Mondo. So they have used bamboo to create this pathway and you have to follow this path and you can see that the crowd is following this path. It's not too heavy. And on the right hand side, we have this busy road. 
So now we are at the Puja Mandap of Boshpukur and let's see. It's going to be fascinating, I hope. Look at this extraordinary decoration. The whole gate is made with steel chairs. So they have ramped up a lot of chairs to design this arch and this gate. And the interior decoration is all made with chairs. So, so we are presenting you something else again. <laughs> Look at the structure, all made with chairs. These chairs are moving around. So there is a pulley system. These chairs are moving. Can you see that? Wow, this is extraordinary. So you can see that the, our puja mandops are so uniquely designed and they vary every year. So they never repeat anything. And the whole structure, the whole puja mandop is made with chairs. And this is the entrance. So I'm, I'm sure there will be more surprises in this scenario. Look at the structure. It's already getting very crowded. It's three o'clock. Now we're entering the Puja Mondop and look at the structure. It's made with chairs and it's beautifully decorated. Can you believe that the just ordinary sitting chairs, very cheap chairs can be used such a unique, very innovative way to create this whole architecture. And obviously Durga Pratima is sitting one side and beautifully decorated once again. Even the exit gate is also decorated with chairs and they have so many chairs. So look at the structure once again, last time. We are now at a very famous puja called Egdalia Evergreen. It's also in South Kolkata and it's famous for lighting. Obviously we can't see the lighting. But the decoration inside the mandop will be extraordinary, so we'll experience that. So let's go for a walk. It's not too heavy, the crowd, so we are just trying to finish off this before 5 o'clock. We're coming from the back side of the mandop, so we'll go in the front and we'll photograph that too. There are quite a lot of stalls, these temporary stalls and food and different handicrafts. It's the common thing for all the big puja mandops. We're entering the Puja Mandap and look at how gorgeous it is. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's golden. It's like molded with gold. the Italia evergreen and you can see that how gorgeous the Puja Mondo piece and, and the Durga Prithima I think it's like covered with gold looks like it's so gorgeous so pretty Now we are at the front of the Egdalia Evergreen and look at the whole temple from the front. Look at this artwork, it's just extraordinary. I think it's like a temple that created a replica of a Hindu temple and it's so pretty, so ornamented. We have shown you the inside, the Durga Pratima and the interior decoration and this is the front side. How pretty, how extraordinarily beautiful this is, amazing. 
and look at the people, the amount of people that are entering. Look at this lighting. So obviously in the evening they will all be glowing but obviously now we can't show you. But the whole thing overall is just amazing.